With temperatures outside falling lower and lower right now, let's talk about heating for your Pac-Man frogs. Hey y'all, it's Mandy from My Hectic Life Pets where we talk about all things pet and pet related and today we're talking about heating for your Pac-Man frogs. So I actually had a lady come in that almost baked her frog because of too much heating. So because of that I thought it would be really helpful for you guys if I went ahead and shared the information about the Pac-Man frog about their temperature ranges. These guys typically don't require a whole lot of heating. The max daytime temperature that you want their tank at is only 85 degrees. And again, that is max temperature. During the daytime, they can go as low as 75 and at night they can go as low as 68. Now in the case of this woman, she actually put a ceramic heat lamp on the top of the tank and on top of that, she put an under the tank heat mat. The frog went into the substrate, buried itself, and did not come out for a couple of weeks before she realized it was an issue and her frog might die. The tank that she had it in was at 95 degrees, which is way higher than the maximum recommended temperature for a Pac-Man frog. Luckily she caught it before she actually killed the frog, but guys, I know it's getting cold outside, but don't overdo it you might accidentally kill your pet. So as I said, the Pac-Man frog daytime temperatures typically vary between 75 and 85 degrees. They don't really require a whole lot of heating. The most common type of heating used for the Pac-Man frog is the under the tank heating mat. You can use a very low wattage night heat bulb. You do have to be very careful with these because if you have a frog that is sensitive to light, like the albino variety, then it can be an issue and you don't want to accidentally damage their skin. So this is where ceramic heat lamps come in. Ceramic heat lamps can be a good addition, but not with any other heating methods. The ceramic heat lamps, if you get a low wattage bulb, then they're not going to emit any light, they're only going to emit heat into the tank. But you need to make sure that you are monitoring the temperature of the tank and that it is not getting too hot for the frogs. Now another option that you can use, this is what I do, I actually now have a space heater in the room since I have four tanks that all need to be pretty close to the same temperature between 75 and 80. They're all kind of a room temperature type of pet. During the evening time I use a space heater to keep the room warm enough and thus keep my tanks warm enough that my frogs and my gecko are at a comfortable temperature at all times. Now I do live in a warmer climate so I don't need a whole lot of additional heating to keep my frogs warm and I really don't have to run anything during the daytime because my house is usually at least 75 degrees during the daytime. At night I do sometimes need that additional boost of warmth and that's where my space heater comes in. I like my house a little bit cooler in the evening. It helps me fall asleep and this tends to be the trend with a lot of people. So you do have to heat your tank. But just remember, low wattage and keep an eye on that thermometer in your tank. You don't want to cook your frog. If you do notice that your frog is looking a little overheated, possibly dehydrated, you can soak them to help kind of rehydrate them and help them out a little bit as far as feeling better but this is not something that you should have to do if you keep your frog at a proper temperature. So using too high of a wattage of any type of these bulbs, including the ceramic, can bring the temperature in your tank to be too high for your frog, so you do wanna keep an eye on it. And if it is too warm, then you need to find a lower wattage bulb or a different method of heating for your tank. Since pack band frog tanks are typically a very shallow tank, because they don't need that kind of height, they're not arboreal, they just are a sit and wait predator. You do have to be very careful that the temperature does not get too hot if you are using a type of heat lamp. Now there are different ways that you can get around this. To help you out with lowering the heat, you can hang the lamp so that it is higher above the tank 
so that there's a little bit more space in between the tank and the heat lamp so that it's not going to overdo the heating for your tank for your frog. So basically, Pac-Man frogs, no higher than 85 degrees. They don't really need a whole lot of heating sources. If you do live in a warm climate, if you do keep your house warm, even in the winter time, then you might not even need any additional heating, but don't overheat your frogs because it could lead to serious injury, illness, or even potentially death. So that's all for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel where I post new videos every week. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.